Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am and you're new here, my name is Marion Petruni and hope you like what you've watched and I hope you enjoyed this video. As you guys can see outside, it's beautifully sunny and it's getting warm here in Australia. It's spring has hit here in Australia. So today I'm going to be recording 20 facts about myself that you guys may or may not know about me. Um, and I wonder if you guys are going to get a bit surprised about certain things that I'm going to say. But let's just get straight into it. Here are 20 facts about me. Okay, so the first fact is that I am 22 years old and I was born on the 28th of December 1995. Second fact is I have a huge love for home interior designing. I love watching videos on YouTube about home interior designing and styling. I'm just I'm currently doing that for my home right now when I'm renovating and I just love it. Like I, I love it so much. The third fact is that I am studying a Bachelor of Occupational Therapy at Western Sydney University here in Sydney. Fourth fact is that I love watching romantic comedies. I absolutely love watching romantic comedies like and I feel I feel like people that watch romantic comedies with me enjoy watching me because I get really excited and I'm just I'm constantly on the edge of my seat and I'm just like screaming and getting all these giggles and like getting shy and stuff like that's how I get. The fifth fact about me is that I love playing Sudoku. Um, I have like three books, I've almost finished the two of them. Um, and I just I enjoy playing them so much. I love the way it makes me think and I, I love working out things like I love puzzles I love working out things problem-solving games. So that's why I love it so much and sixth Fact about me is that I love writing poetry. I love 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 writing poetry I've been writing poetry for a while now cute little fact side fact is that I wrote a poem for Mustafa on our engagement um, And I gave that to him as a, in in the form of a letter and he loved that and he still has it to this day. Also, in the conversation of poetry, um, something exciting will be coming up soon that I'll be posting on my YouTube channel um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. The seventh fact about myself is that I recently had pet chickens and I was obsessed with them. Like, I no longer have these chickens because a fox attacked one of them and I literally chased after him to let her go like literally I was a meter away from him going let her go, let her go, whatever and then he let her go but then my uncle became really scared for them because we live on a land and obviously there's a fox on our land and he's gonna eat them if he really wants them and he will not leave them until they until he eats them so he he took them to his house to take care of them because he was just really scared for them but I didn't want them to go and I cried like a baby when he took them <laughs> so that's a fact of mine I cry over animals that I really really love <laughs> especially those chickens are like I, I'm telling you I full weep man I was like crying on my mom's shoulder it was really bad <laughs> the eighth fact about myself is that I hate scary movies I freaking hate scary movies I cannot do it like like I'll watch it but I will be just I will literally be screaming like I'm the type of person where like I will literally be startled. Like, I'll be like, ah! And then I'll be like, ah! And then it's just, yeah, it's bad. Ninth fact about me is that I have extremely bad memory. I have such a bad memory. It disappoints me so much sometimes. Important things I do remember, like really, really important things, but there's things that I just don't. Like, I was struggling to remember 20 facts about myself writing this thing. Like, I had to message Mustafa and ask Joanne. <laughs> the tenth fact about myself is that um, I aspire to be a very good and caring mother to my future children, inshallah, and to be a very good wife to my husband. There's a whole, there's like a, there's been a movement over year, like for, over the past couple years, um, you know, preaching for women's rights and stuff like that, and a lot of feminist groups have come up. Yeah, I'm all for that when it comes to, you know, women's rights and treating women equally and treating women with respect and all of that. Um, of course, because I'm a woman, <laughs> but. I feel like in the process of protesting for women's rights and all these feminist groups, I feel like I feel like it's gone to a point where it's like not socially accepted for a woman to just be a mother, unfortunately. And um, 
and I think that's a big thing like that's that's kind of disappointing like a woman should choose and not feel like she'll be judged if she wants to work while being a mother and a woman should also be able to choose and not feel judged if she just wants to be a mother and not work and just give her full dedication and efforts to her family and her home and her husband 11th 11th fact about me since I was a little girl I've always wanted to be like a professional dancer or a model like I've always wanted to be that at some point in my life and um, that never happened because I never I never trained to be a dancer when I was younger and I'm still not training to be a dancer and um, the model career just hasn't come along really I also love to dance that's the tallest fact about me. I absolutely love, love dancing. I love moving my body. I love just dancing to music. I just dance alone at home in my living room um, and I absolutely love it. Thirteenth fact about me. I can't use my fingers anymore because I'm running out. I love to walk barefoot at home and my mum always is telling me off about it. Even Mustafa tells me off about it. Like you'll get sick and like flat foot, all that. But I just love it. I don't know. I just find it. I feel so constricted when I wear um, shoes at home. I just feel like it's a place of freedom. My home is a place of freedom and I want to walk barefoot. <laughs> the 14th fact about me is that I love to work out and I just work out at home. I do like home exercises. I make them up on my own. Um, it makes me feel refreshed and it makes me feel lighter during the day. 15th fact about me is that I also love to go for walks. It's like a leisurely walk, you know, like going for walks with Mustafa around the neighborhood or going for a walk on the beach or just smelling fresh air. The 16th fact about me is that I love big cars. Love, love, love big cars. Like I'm talking four drives, like Jeeps, you know, like the G series Merc, like, like, you know, the big Range Rovers, just big cars. I don't care what they are. Like if it's a Honda, if it's a Holden, I don't, I don't care. As long as it's a big car. I hate driving little cars. I have a little car, but I just, I have back issues and it hurts my back and I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm conquering the world when I'm driving a big car. <laughs> the 17th fact about me is that I love nature. Like, I love, like, I'd rather, like, nature as in I love greenery, I love forests, I love land. 18th fact about myself is that I met my husband at Lebanon. You guys know that story anyway. If you haven't, if you don't know that story, go watch my video of how I met my husband. The 19th fact about myself is that I dealt with chronic eczema for three years. Um, that's a long time for chronic eczema. Um, it was probably the worst time of my life ever. It's a very traumatic event for me that I don't like to talk about much. Not really, not talk about it. I like to talk about it because I like to spread awareness, but I don't like to think about it much. I don't like to think about my life in those days much and how I looked and how I felt. The last fact is that I once accidentally killed a duckling. <laughs> Keyword, accidentally, literally accidentally. The story is, in short form, is that there were little ducks in our pool and we had a cat back then and the, the cat kept playing with the ducks in the pool and I'm pretty sure he was trying to drown them so he can eat them. But he just kept playing with them in the pool, so they were drowning poor things. Anyway, and they'd kill them. Like we'd come home and we'd find them um, dead. Like we'd find like five dead. Anyway, so there was one more left alive. We took her inside, you know, we dried her up and she was like breathing really heavy and stuff like that. And then it got to a point where she started like going quiet and stuff like that. And I was really young, like I think I was like 10 or something. And I was like, mom, maybe she just needs to go back in the water, you know, maybe she needs the water. Maybe she's struggling to breathe because she needs water. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But anyway, mom's like, no, madam, it's fine. It's fine, leave her, leave her, leave her. Anyway, I'm really, really stubborn. I was like, no, mom, this is what's better for her, you know? And then <laughs> I took her back to the water and then I put her in the water and I'm like, oh, mom, look, she's swimming, she's swimming, look, she's fine, you know, she's fine, she's fine, mom. And then I start to realize that her beak was like under the water the whole time while she was swimming. And then I was like, and I, when I started realizing, like, I was taking, it was taking some time to process in my mind, you know. And then I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, shit, she's drowning, she's drowning, you know, she's been drowning this whole time. And I took her out and then she died. She ended up dying, so 
I cried for a very, very long time. So yeah, that was the last fact about myself. Funny enough, I ended my last fact with a um, murder episode. <laughs> Anyway, that's 20 facts about me and um, if you guys knew any of these things about me or if you find any of them interesting or you just never thought that that'd be something I'd do or I'd love or anything like that, comment below what you think. Stay tuned for some exciting things that will be coming up on my YouTube channel and also if you're not already please follow me on Instagram so you can keep it keep updated with these sort of things because I constantly post on my Instagram especially on my story I'm quite funny on my story as well if you want to go watch that I hope you enjoyed this video take care guys love you Mwah.